Okay, uh, this lesson I'm going to talk about three figure bearing, a chapter that is found difficult by many students. Okay, uh, since the SPM is going on and the IGCSE will come in a few months' time, I would like to share this with candidates all over the world. Right, let's say we are given bearing of Q from P is 125 degrees. Uh, so it's three figures already and it's exact, so we just leave it like that. Let's say the question wants bearing of P from Q. So uh, that is pretty direct. What students should do is draw two arrows pointing to the north. And since they are parallel, so this angle is 55. All right, but then the, when you say bearing of P from Q, you stop your pen of finger here, and this is the this is the bearing we want. Okay, from Q means you stop at Q. Huh? Don't confuse. Yeah. So this is bearing of P from Q. So sorry, it you uh, should go all the way here. You should go all the way here. So it's 360 minus 55. So the three figure bearing is 305 degrees. Pretty straightforward. Next, eh? becomes difficult. What is the bearing of Q from R? So let's say we were given a triangle of these three towns. 120 meters is between P and Q. Q and R is 70 meters and P and R is 90 meters, all right? Uh, it's very important, once that is given, the relative locations of PQR are already fixed. Huh? So let's look at number two here. I would like to share with everybody. When you have no angle given in a triangle, like in this case, you only have three sides, 70 meters, 90 meters, and 120 meters, you must use the cosine rule, yeah? Because the sine rule will need at least one angle. So using the cosine rule, 120 meters square will be equal to 90 square plus 70 square minus 2AB will be 2 times 90 times 70 cos of this angle theta. Eh? This angle theta is opposite 120. And uh, I have drawn this to show that it is obtuse. In fact, it is, yeah? So substituting and, uh, and multiplying by everything. And that is a very common mistake here. Please remember bit mass, yeah? You cannot minus this away from the front numbers, yeah? It is stuck to cosine theta, yeah? So please remember that. So 8001 plus 4009 minus 14400. Uh, you get negative cosine only for cosine. You can press the calculator, it will give you an obtuse angle. Right? And please keep one extra sig fig. Yeah? Well, although IGCSE we need one decimal point, but while we are working, we should be keeping two decimal places. So theta is 96.38 degrees. Eh? So I say again, if you have got no angles, but only three sides of a triangle, please use the cosine rule. Don't waste your time. You cannot apply the sine rule. So after you have found theta, it will be good practice to write it there. Uh, right, this is something interesting. Eh? Because you want the bearing of Q from R. Yeah, that means you want this angle, right? Uh, the thing is, opposite 90, I do not know the angle, but I would have to find it first. I would have to find it first anyway. Huh? Okay, so I will find alpha. I will find alpha. Huh? Uh, after that, I use 180 minus. Lah. So 70, 70 over sine alpha equals to 120 over sine 96.38 so sine alpha if you do the common thing again please intermediate answer keep two decimal places yeah especially for IGCST student for SPM people 
In fact, you must give four six eight. Yeah. So with all that, you get beta indirectly. Yeah, by yeah, taking the three angles of a triangle equal to one eighty. Uh, I just keep beta to one decimal place because that is the final answer. Yeah? No need to. Uh, no need. Uh, in fact, I have forty eight point one nine there, but it's not very useful. Uh? So bearing of Q from R, look here. Bearing of Q from R, you stop at R. Uh? Three figure bearing means you want this angle. You want this angle. Okay. So if you want that angle. Beta is 48.2, always good to write it there. This angle is 55. So again, parallel lines. So keep drawing the north points. Yeah, so point to the north. Eh? All these eh, northern signs, they are all parallel. Eh? Please remember that. Okay, so the bearing of Q from R will be 180 minus beta, which is 48.2 minus 55, which we got earlier. So it gives me 76.8 degrees to one decimal place. Huh? So IGCSE people, O level people, right? Please remember, inexact angles must be given to one decimal place unless otherwise stated. Okay? And uh, so the bearing of Q from R will be this one. But remember, we are doing three figure bearing so i have to add a zero in front to make it three figure uh, never mind about the decimal point okay uh, with that then the, the last part bearing of r from q so r from q you stop at q all right and then you come this way until this only eh? until this only so uh, can i call it gamma so gamma is 360 minus 55 minus 48.2 and i get 256.8 which is definitely one decimal point because i kept beta at one decimal point and i would have gotten full marks for this uh, i know from years of teaching students respect this chapter too much uh, to the extent that they give up you know but there is no need i hope you look at this question which is uh, set by me. I did not take any exam board questions, you know, for fear of infringement of copyright. Eh? But uh, you can try past year papers, and I'm sure you would be learning this, and it will no longer scare you anymore. Thank you. So, get simply.